you know, I watched like the newest episode of Rick and Morty, and it was a pretty good episode, I have to say, where it, like it highlights the com the complexity of life, especially towards the end, where like you see this guy when people like you know, uh, all F four from life, they turn into spaghetti, and it's consumable, and yeah, at the end, <laughs> Rick highlighted this guy's life just before he turned into spaghetti. And like for a moment, for a brief moment before the ending happened, like where they were like laughing about the like, you know food after like oh it's really bad Salisbury steak. This is episode four, season seven of Rick and Morty, by the way. Like for a brief moment, I, I genuinely realized like like bro, time actually fucking matters. Like I like I could grasp it for like a good like for, for a good moment I could grasp it like genuinely grasp it. I could genuinely grasp the fact that. You know, every single moment in my life, it genuinely fucking matters. Like, I'm not gonna, like, when, especially when the scene came on where, like, he was a little boy playing with toys. I remember when I was a little boy playing with toys. Now I'm a bigger boy playing with a bigger toy, the PS4 or something. Like, time, it's not, it's not something to be fucked with, you can't waste it. I'm just trying to burn time. I'm just trying to waste some time. I, I I catch myself using these terms, these idioms. These idioms exist for idiots. Like it's fucking insane to think about how people can just genuinely just waste their time, waste their life, waste the other oh, thing, the seconds that they're given on this planet when they're all exhaustible. They're not inexhaustible. You're gonna die one day. You are going to perish one day. I remember first man, I keep listening to it again and again, but I, I struggle to comprehend it. But with this episode of Rick and Morty, I really, truly did comprehend it for that split second. And right now, as I speak about it, I will comprehend it again. We're all gonna die one day. First man said it as well. He said, I want you to be 18 and know that you're gonna die one day. This shit is going to end. And I'm 18 and I know I'm gonna die one day. And this shit is going to end. So when I, w w like, I spent like probably like 30, 40 minutes playing, um, thing, Warframe today. God, God, I, I couldn't like, I couldn't sit well with this thought. I just had to get off. There's a Plague Star event, like, where you could farm Forma. I don't know if you guys play Warframe or not, probably not. You can just farm like a super high OP or, be, uh, or item, let's just call it that. Oh, it isn't. And, I don't know, I just, I just couldn't, I could bring my, I couldn't bring myself to do it. Usually I would be like fucking on that shit, just grinding non-stop. I went on Apex a bit. I, I, I really just can't see the game the same. Overwatch 2, can't see the game the same. Like, Siege, can't see the game the same. Like, everything is just mundane. Everything is just not good enough. Everything is an escape. And it's crazy how, like, I've come to this conclusion many times, but... Out of all the time, I think, like, this, this is the moment where it's, like, it's really, like, hit me the hardest. Me too hard. Like in my videos, I get angry about like fucking, you know, Asian guys being geeks. Yeah, yeah, they are geeks. This is, this is fair. But like, what the fuck does it matter? Like, <laughs> it's too much effort for me for my time. Like, it's it's just content at the end of the day. <laughs> The limited number of hour things really like it really fucks with me, can't lie. I remember reading a manual where like this guy has to like this guy has to like viciously not viciously a bit a bit into sound off a bit. He has to like fucking kill in order to to, to live more. It's just a manual in a video game, no, in a, in a story, in a manual, in a manga. And like he has a set limited amount, so like if you kill someone he gets like a thousand hours and the more the more prestige they are, the more powerful they are, the more time he gets. His sense of time is greatly like appreciating. Every single time he wakes up, he's like, "Holy shit! I only have like, I can see like how much time I have left." And I can imagine anyone who has like if, if we were given like if Neuralink like gets fucking overpowered some shit, and we're able to like and it's like testing has just started, so like. For example, Neuralink's really OP, 
And now we're able to see the amount of time we have roughly as a rough estimate on our arm. Something like, like bro, motherfuckers, the world would move at such a different pace. Like people would work so quick. People would work with such utmost efficiency. Every single minute, every single dollar, every single second would be used accordingly. If you could see every single moment that you're wasting, every single second that you have left in your life, you would be like, holy shit, I just woke up. It's like, it's not, it's no longer 100,000 hours. It's now 90, uh, 99,000 hours, 900 and something. And then you don't realize it. Oh yeah, whatever, 99,000 9, hours. That's like, I don't know, 100 years. Because 10,000 uh, hours, no, 8,000 hours is a year. So let's just say that, for example. I got like a few, I got another few decades on me. It's fine. Until you, you're 10,000 hours down and you're, and you're like, holy shit. What have I done in the last 10,000 hours? 20,000 hours. 64,000 hours. Eight years gone by. What the fuck have I done? But it's invisible. It's intangible. You guys don't fucking realize. Fuck. Fuck. You know, I was watching um, a video called XQC Core Core, and like, XQC is like a very, very popular streamer. And it's not like it's like he's the most popular streamer in the world, effectively. He got a hundred million dollar kick deal recently. Good for him. But in the video, like, although he's a pretty optimistic, happy person, in the video, like, it's really fucking depressing. In the video, it, it shows tones of like dep dep depression almost. The biggest thing I can say is like regret, and pain, and pain and regret. I don't know. It should be like pain and regret, not regret and pain, right? It doesn't matter. Those are the two big. Those are the two big overarching themes I see in this. Yeah, it fucking hurts, bro. XQC has dedicated the last decade of his life to streaming, and although he is wildly successful, he's, de he's, he's, he's dedicated a decade of his life to the virtual world. Some, one of the comments said, XQC core core. No, no, yeah, I'm trying to go through my memory, my bad. One of the comments said, he spent 52 hours in VR chat. He tried to call his friend to see what happened, if anything had changed. But nothing had changed. Like, uh, these Asian lose. Like, they, they do. Why do Asian girls date white guys? I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna die one day. Everything is going to go one day. Everything. Everything you know and love. This chair, this fucking door, the mirror, my cat. It's all gonna go. Number in your bank account, money matters so much, alright? Money is a means to an end. I keep saying it. People call me materialistic. Money exists only for you to use it. As a tool for you to get your freedoms, get your experiences. Money, what? You can't bring money into the afterlife. People keep saying it, but people don't understand it. You genuinely cannot bring money into the afterlife, if there even is one. What does that mean? Uh, but the thing, there's life after death. There's a there's, uh, thing, there's no life after death. Both options are equally terrifying. Yeah. You know, I watched Hamza's video recently as well. It was talking about 
she was talking about let me find in my journal actually you know, I wrote out my journal I bought a new journal I really like it yeah. um, I hear words from Hamza when you over when you when you are overthinking everything that can actually slow you down so much and I keep thinking about what Jocko said as well Jocko um, had this like super, super hard you know, fucking tough gorilla type fucking dude. He like does jujitsu and wrestling and went to the military and he was a Marine Corps and you know, that type of shit. He said, one second becomes an eternity because something that was going to happen never happened. I think what the men in some Pru- um, guys in some improvement, the, the young men in some improvement, the young boys even. Motherfuckers, you guys are men, you guys are boys, man. Even myself, like, <laughs> this is nothing to be proud of. A little bit of fitness, a little bit of money, a little bit of, you are better than your peers, you, peers, you might feel better, good for the moment, but you are not good enough. Meal prep plastic container. That's not good. I think about the men in self improvement, and I think to myself, yeah, a lot of you guys have fucking regressed. A lot of you guys have regressed. I cannot simply state how much like men in self improvement have regressed. Like everyone watches Hamza, everyone watches Iman Gaji, everyone watches. Andrew Tate and everyone watches these guys, but have you taken action? No, man. So many of you guys. How's that business? How's your fitness? Oh, you're twenty percent body fat now. Oh, you haven't made it, uh, like the money that you said you were gonna make. <laughs> I just, it, 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 even in the self improvement space, where it's like only ten percent of men ever go there. Only. One percent, even that's 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 less lucky. Even one, only one percent, or less than succeed in self improvement thereafter. Everyone else regressed. Why? You were fucking lazy. But why are you lazy? Are you scared? Is it fear? Fear of failure. Fear of the unknown. I remember a guy that I used to go to like a traineeship with. Um, he said he hated university. And then he go then, then after like fucking like three months, I don't really talk to him. We've kind of fallen out. He goes to university, and I ask him why? Why are you going to university? I'm gonna call him Joseph. I don't know, fucking Joseph. <laughs> Joseph. So why did you go to university? Because it's safe. You want the safe option, you want the easy option, you want the option that isn't hard. And you will achieve nothing traversing the path that everyone else has. A flash in the plan. A flash in the pan. A speck of dust in the desert. You will be nothing. And you will be happy. This is, this is not a way to live. And like, I don't even want to call him out. This guy, he probably doesn't watch, he doesn't watch my videos, but I don't want to call him out. He was like, yeah, I'm working on my business website and my business plan and my business. What the fuck does that I made, my, I made my website in a day and I procrastinated it for a very, very fucking long time. But I made it in a day. <laughs> it's one day. And I have plenty of more time to do that shit. Business plan, make it a day. And you reiterate re- as you go on. Like Lord Luke Belmont always says, reiterate, reiterate. The whole problem is, is that guys don't reiterate. Like, yeah, you, actually, you, you have a plan, you execute, you fail, you reiterate. That's pretty much it when it comes to business. It's a business success. But the base core element is action. Everything else is secondary.
I remember I listened to a guy who sold his company, and I do believe him, even though I give him the benefit of doubt. I do believe him, but this guy sold his like his online education company for like millions of dollars, millions of pounds. I say that, and uh, he was in the game for six years, and he said it almost felt like he was selling his baby. And the other guy already made like 10k a day, for example. I keep forgetting like the whole point of business, the whole point of entrepreneurship, the whole point of this whole shit to earn so much money. It's not only to retire your family, bro. It's to get get in and get out. It's the same with boxing. It's to get in and get out. Like you're not supposed to stay there. You're not supposed to stay in the the, the, the pits of hell, the fire and the em, the hot fl flame smoldering embers of hell forever. And if you do, then it's fine. It's your prerogative. Like business is a sport. Entrepreneurship is a sport. Where you don't really give up until the moment you drop dead. But do you want to keep in, being in there? You want to keep working every single day. Especially when time is so limited. I don't know. I'm not sure. You're watching this video. One viewer. What have you done with your time? What have you done with your time? What have you done with the past year? Tell me down below.